Hey everybody, let's get our hips nice and loose, okay? So let's start standing with the right leg. We're gonna bend that knee, dig right into the left leg, mm-hmm, up, drill right into that left leg so that the left glute med gets turned on and we're really finding our strength here. Lots of core strength. Bring that knee out to the external rotating uh, position and down. Good. Let's do it again. Up and out and down. Good. One more time. Up. Really as we push up we're finding our strength here, out and down. Good, let's go the other direction. So the knee comes up, in and down. Good, up, in and down. Very nice. And up and in and down. Awesome. Okay, still working on that same side. Dig into the left leg. The knee comes up, out, and this time we're gonna dip the knee. Yep. And see if we can bring that back. Mm-hmm. For an extra added challenge, keep going and come into a little curtsy. Mm-hmm. And back. Yeah, one more time. It's a challenge. Knee up. And out, dip the knee, go back, curtsy, good, and back up, and back to the starting position, good. Let's roll out the supporting ankle a few times, back and forth, good. Crunch those toes, stretch out the top of that foot. Mm-hmm. Good. Step the supporting leg forward. Heel on the ground. Chamber the arms. And exhale, sit your bottom back and reach it forward. Mm-hmm. I'll show you from the side what that looks like. So the heel comes out, chamber the arms, sit back, and sweep it forward. Mm -hmm. One more time. Yeah. Okay, let's do the other side. So, drilling into the right leg, left knee comes up. Again, turning on the glute med on the supporting leg. Let's bring the knee out and down. Do a couple little circles here. Open the gates, close the gates. Mm -hmm. Other direction. Yep. One more. Good. Okay. Here's our challenge. <laughs> so, knee up, out, dip the knee, go to the back, and come in for a curtsy. If you have to use your hands, feel free. If you lose your balance, it's not a big deal. Knee goes up, out, dip the knee, back, curtsy. Good. Let's do one more. Good. Okay. Roll out that supporting leg. <laughs> A couple of different directions. Good. And let's step the right heel out this time. Sit back on the left. Your bottom goes back, chamber the arms, and we sweep. Mm-hmm. Exhale.
One more. Very nice. Awesome. Okay. Let's come to the top of our mat. Doesn't matter which side. Good. Inhale. Exhale, swan dive. Good. Let's hop back or you can step back. So stepping back would just be one leg at a time. Hopping back would be both legs into a high plank. Shift your weight. Chaturanga. So elbows skim the ribs. We come down super slow. Scoop it up. Mm -hmm. Flip the toes. Up dog. Yes. Keep the shoulders out of the ears. Awesome. Good. Curl the toes. Push it back into down dog. Mm -hmm. So the backs of the legs open up. And you can readjust here. I, I felt like I needed to. I thought I might be a little too wide. So then you just sink right into it. Shoulder blades slide down the spine. Mm-hmm. Good. Right leg up in the air. And pump the leg a couple times. You could stay right here and do that, or you could come into a wild thing where you just keep the foot going, going, going. Keep those hips up and reach. Big hip opener. <laughs> awesome. Come on back. Real deep into that down dog. Come right into a pigeon. Mm-hmm. So, just readjust as necessary. Your right knee is near your right arm and your right foot is near your left arm. Settle right in. You can stay up high. You can lean into it. Yep. Good. Find your way up if you leaned into it. And we're going to sit on that hip just a bit and bring the left leg forward. Mm hmm All the way over into Gomukhasana, cow face pose. It's very hot where I am right now, so excuse all the dripping sweat. <laughs> Inhale, up, and exhale, hinge from the hips, from the waist, and this is a wonderful stretch for the external part of our hips, so the IT band insertion, the glute med. Mm -hmm. Good, inhale, up, and exhale. Let's send that leg back. See if you can do it with or without your hands. Just adds extra challenge without the hands. Come back into our pigeon. Good, let's make some space. So lift that back leg and send the right back into down dog. We gotta do the other side. Okay, so it's down dog to wild thing, to down dog, to pigeon, to gomukasana and reverse. It's a nice little flow. Inhale, left leg up. Pump that leg a couple times. Good. If you like, go ahead into wild thing. Mm-hmm. Good. Come on back. Let's send that leg into a pigeon. Mm -hmm. Inhaling. Good. If you'd like to come down into an exhale. Inhale. Sit on the hip a little bit. 
back leg comes forward into Gomukhasana. Cow face pose. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Send the leg back into our pigeon. Mm -hmm. Make space. Back into down dog. Mm -hmm. Just sink into it and breathe. Awesome. Let's drop our knees. Bring our torso up. Reach back for our ankles into camel pose. Breathe. And the way I come out of it is I release one hand at a time. That just seems to be more accessible. Ah, good. And we're sitting on our feet. Good. Hold on to the ground here and lift up the knees. Just get a little stretch in the tops of the feet. Awesome. Okay. Let's make our way onto our back. Yes. Plant those feet. Dig the energy right through the heels. Tuck the pelvis. And lift the hips. Mm-hmm. You could come up as high as feels comfortable, but we're slowly bringing those shoulders down as we do it. Mm -hmm. Balloon out the belly here. Mm -hmm. And exhale, good. Lots of engagement here in the posterior chain. Really helps stabilize our hips. Good, and then I'm releasing my shoulders in one vertebrae at a time allowing my spine to come down. Good, extending out each leg for just a moment. A nice good morning stretch. Nice. Let's grab hold of the right toes. Left leg is long. Left arm is out for counterbalance. I'm letting my right leg have a bend in the knee and just letting it melt out to the side. Mm -hmm. So if your left hip comes up, that's fine. Just as long as we're directing the energy that way, everyone's body is made differently. Mm -hmm. Good, let's bring that leg to center and we're swapping hands out. So now my left fingers are grabbing hold of the right toes and I'm gonna allow that leg to come across my body. My right arm is counterbalanced now. All the way over, and I'm looking over the right arm. Nice stretch for the hips. Awesome. And then we release. And we're gonna switch. So now the left leg comes up. I grab hold with my left fingers. My right leg is long. Bend in that left leg and down we go off to the side. Don't forget your right arm is counterbalance. Look over that arm. Noticing one side is different than the other. That's okay. Swap out hands. Left arm is counterbalanced now, and I'm going to look over that shoulder. Mm -hmm. 
Let that leg float over. Mm-hmm. And release. Awesome. Yes, very nice. Okay. Supta Baddha Konasana. So both feet, the soles are smushed together. And I'm allowing the knees to come out to the side. Mm-hmm. Just let them fall open. Arms come up and over. Ah, yeah. Great. And we sit up. Good. Okay, just a quick 90-90. 90 degrees here, 90 degrees here. Yes. The knees are over towards the left, so my left arm is going to reach. And my right arm is reaching up to the sky. Open that chest. On the exhale, thread the needle. Mm -hmm. And open. And come on up. Good. Switch. Now the knees go over towards the right. So the right hand is out a little bit. Left reaches up to the sky. And we thread the needle. Mm -hmm. And inhale. Up we go. Oh, I encourage you to lay in Savasana for a few minutes after that practice. And um, also encourage you to go ahead over to my channel. It's yoga for you. I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe. I uh, hope something benefits you there. Lots of different videos for different needs. So until next time, take care and God bless you.